Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing an info vlog on a surf trip to Nicaragua. I'm gonna let you know where I've been, where I've stayed, where I've surfed, and my honest thoughts about it. I love Nicaragua. I love that place. It has such a special place in my heart. I went there way back in like 2014 and <laughs> it changed so much between 2014 and 2021 or 22 when I was there. I can't remember. I think, I think it was 22 when I went there um, recently and I spent three months there. I actually was only there for three weeks and then I flew home for a week and I was like, what am I doing? And I flew right back. So let me break it down and tell you why I love that country so much. For starters, it was the first place I ever learned to get barreled, um, specifically at Playa Colorado. So I'm gonna start strong with Playa Colorado because you see the videos, you see everything on social media. It looks amazing. And it is, it is incredible. There's a giant lake just inland from that beach. And scientifically, they call it the lake effect. It creates offshore winds almost every day of the year, making Colorado a very hot and popular surf destination. Very large, nice community called Hacienda Iguana. And I say it's like if you just picked up a town from Encinitas and just dropped it into Nicaragua, it's a full gated community um, with mostly families that either live there half the year or rent out their houses. It is a very safe and fun community. I went there by myself and I stayed there for ages. You can walk around at night. It is completely safe for a female traveling alone, if, if that applies to you. I usually fly into Liberia, Costa Rica, and then I get a taxi service from there to Playa Colorado. It ends up being a similar time frame if you fly into Managua, but I find that the airlines that fly into Liberia typically have better board bag fees rather than Avianca, which is, I think one, if not the only airline that flies into Managua. And I usually have a pretty big ass board bag, so <laughs> I'm all about those airline choices. I stayed at a couple different places. I find it pretty easy to find just rooms to rent and uh, different options depending on your budget. I'm gonna link a few different people that I have to contact if you're looking for a place to stay over there. That community is so lovely and everybody knows each other. So you'll always find yourself in good hands. Not only are the waves offshore all the time, they are so fun. Uh, small, big, high tide, low tide, I think it is so much fun. So people often, their biggest negative about Playa Colorado is the crowd. I personally don't mind a crowd and when it's offshore all day, you can really surf at any time of the day. It's not like it's confined to a short little window and everybody surfs at the same time. It is also a beach break with multiple takeoff spots. It's not so condensed onto one spot, much like its neighbor, Papoyo. Papoyo, I've only been to a really long time ago, so I don't wanna to speak too much on it. Um, it is a very fun left point break, I believe. And when it is big, it has a big slobbing barrel over the reef. Um, I find a lot of people love this place. So I haven't been in a while, but um, like I said, compared to Colorado's, it is a condensed point break. And I think it is a bit more difficult if there is a crowd. If you do stay in Hacienda Iguana, you kind of will need a car if you want to go anywhere outside of Hacienda Iguana. Otherwise, um, you just walk everywhere within that community. So that can limit you if you're wanting to surf different spots, but I don't think it's too hard to like rent a car. But to be honest, I was there for three months and I did not go outside of Colorado. So like I was having a time of my life. It's a very forgiving barrel. It is over beach, it is over sand, it's a beach break. So there's not too much consequence. And I never really found it like super heavy and scary. It looks like it from the clips, but it's really not in my opinion. <laughs> I have seen surfers all the way from beginner to advanced have the time of their lives at this wave. So. Um, I do think it is pretty versatile. You just have to be specific on what time of year. The swells are typically biggest and best from like April to September, I believe. And then anytime off season after that, it's much less crowded. You do have a more of a variable depending on like what the winds are gonna be like, but it still can be fun. The next stop up the coast that I went to and experienced myself was Puerto Sandino. Puerto Sandino has a lot of variety of waves around it. And um, I'm bummed I didn't get to surf like all the amazing waves on this specific stretch of coastline, but I did have a very good time and I surfed a large variety of waves. I went and stayed at Puerto Sandino Surf Camp, I believe. I will link everywhere I stayed in the description below. Um, I had a great time here. The food was great. The vibes were great. The, the rooms were great. The, the waves were fun, but it was definitely more of like a chase of trying to figure out where to go every day. And I wouldn't say it's as reliable as Colorado's. Um, again, the time of year is going to depend. There is a very um, popular point break 
big long left point break there that can get very very good and I've heard that it's better early season when there's still a lot of sand on the sandbar and then the water starts to flow out from the rivers and it creates a great sandbar but then later in the year all the sand will kind of be depleted so if you're looking for a time frame to travel there I recommend then you can also you also need to keep in mind that there is no lake effect over here so it is not offshore all day long I did end up getting a really good barrel at a beach break that has no roads you have to take a boat there we, we pulled up and we arrived like from the back of the boat and we couldn't really see if it was good or not we jumped in the water and ended up being pumping and we were just at miles and miles of beach break all alone getting some barrels so there's gems to be found everywhere in Nicaragua for sure and I was in Puerto Sandino I want to say these three months in Nicaragua was like June July and August I think towards the back end of my stay I actually got invited to stay up at a place in northern Nicaragua called Amaru Nicaragua um, they were like, hey, we see you're here in Nicaragua, want to come up for the week? And I was absolutely thrilled. That was like my first ever invite to come stay somewhere um, for surfing and like creating content. And that is at a very famous wave. I'm sure you all know the boom. The boom in Nicaragua is a special little gem. But I have some tea to share with you about this wave that you might not know. A lot of you might know Thunder Bomb Surf Camp. I did not stay there. I don't know the guys. I don't want to say anything bad, probably nothing bad to say, but I will say that they tend to, they do make it out to seem like it is always firing. And I know for a fact that the Northern parts of Nicaragua, one, it picks up a lot more swell. So if the swell is over two, three, four feet, it might be too big at the boom. Um, another thing, it does not have a lake. So there is no lake effect. It is only good wind in the morning. So it's a much shorter window. And it is a much more condensed takeoff spot. It is not like Colorado's. There is miles of beach break, but for some reason, it's only good in one spot. And then everywhere up north of that spot is a little bit more like beginner friendly and there's kind of like rolling white water. So, so because of that, I think the boom is great if you really, really cannot do a crowd. You want to maybe have some beautiful like little gem sessions um with less people and maybe you have like a significant other who's not that great at surfing or you're a lower level of surfing and you don't want to deal with the crowds but you would like to experience the beauty of nicaragua i would highly recommend amaru nicaragua they are so loving they're they have a massive like farm where they cook straight from the farm the meals are incredible um they have a great yoga shala they, they have a great like kind of family vibe of people that work there so i will forever recommend amaru nicaragua i'm gonna try to go back there this year when I'm there in Nicaragua. And if you're looking for something a bit more cheaper, just with the boys, um, my friend Aaron Cormican, a lot of you might know him as Gorkin, he owns a couple bungalows up there called Java Jungle, I believe. I'll link him below as well. And um, he has a really nice place. And it's Aaron Cormican, like why wouldn't you wanna go surf with Aaron Cormican? So I was super lucky to just have some, we actually got a crazy good session that morning. The morning I, was, I thought I was supposed to leave, I ended up being like, oh wait, I'm not supposed to leave until tomorrow. And then Aaron and I went surfing and we just like scored. And it was one of those mornings that just, it's randomly stayed offshore until like 1 p.m. And we, it was just me and him and we were just scoring. Like it was such a good, it was it was an amazing experience. And um, yeah, so for that reason, I would suggest the North for sure. I just think that you wanna have your expectations in the right place. It is not all day surfing. Um, and you have to be mindful of the tides depending on the swell at least depending on the swell because when i was there it was still fun on low tide but for the most part it is a high tide spot so if you don't have high tides in the morning you won't have the good waves with the good wind um so that's something to keep in mind little inside local knowledge from aaron he said that the best time actually for the boom is like november because uh the winds are good and the swell is smaller because like i said it's kind of a swell magnet so um can be still super fun and I'm assuming probably less crowded. I don't know if I was supposed to say that or not, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> so that is the three places I've been in Nicaragua, Colorado's, Puerto Sandino, and Northern Nicaragua at the boom. There also was a day at the boom where we woke up super early. We drove three hours almost to the border. We just drove on the beach for miles and miles and miles of empty beach break looking for waves. Unfortunately, the waves were bad, but if it was good, we would have had the session of our lives all alone. Um, so there's a lot of empty spaces still up there in Nicaragua and the people in Nicaragua are so like, they're just so, they like, they trust so much and they're very loving, like the locals. And um, I just had like a warm heart the whole time I was there. I remember one day we were driving home from surfing uh, up in the north 
and there's obviously always people like looking for rides they don't have cars and it's super hot and they're walking with like their newborn babies and they're asking for rides and so we like filled up the truck at one point we had like probably like six or seven of them and one woman got into the car with me with her newborn baby and just like handed me her child and i was just like oh okay like sitting there holding her newborn baby in the car um so yeah, I found the people there really lovely and I, I could not recommend any of these places enough. Again, I'll link the places I stayed in the description below. Um, and I hope this clarified some things for you guys about Nicaragua. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comments. I hope that you could go and experience Nicaragua and have the same experience that I did because it always will have a special place in my heart. And when there's a place that I travel to, like I always have a good time when I travel and when I go on a surf trip, but if I'm going back to a place and I'm still talking about it and I'm preaching it to other people, you know it was special. And um, I just hope that for you guys when you watch my videos and hope that I'm inspiring you to travel and take that surf trip because it can change your life. So I'm really, this got me really excited to go back. So, oh, one more thing. I am hosting a trip down in Nicaragua, August 2nd to the 8th. It's going to be a fitness, lifestyle, wellness, surf, coaching, retreat, and it's going to be amazing. I'm going to link the website below so you can see the place we're staying because it's nuts. And of course, it's going to be at Playa Colorado, but we will be surfing other spots because we will have transportation. Okay, um, I'm rambling. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to see and follow along with um, me and my boyfriend's surf travels. We are headed to Indonesia in a couple weeks for two months, and we're going to have so many YouTube videos coming for you guys. So... Thank you so much. I'll see you next time and take that surf trip. <laughs> Bye.